Hi, I'm Joyce and I'm here to talk to you about the three key emotional intelligence skills needed by a modern lawyer. So Daniel Goleman, American psychologist. says that there are five main elements of emotional intelligence, self-awareness, self-regulation, motivation, empathy, and social skills. I've chosen the following three as my most important, empathy, social skills, and self-regulation. So first, let's talk about empathy. We have to be careful as lawyers not, not to confuse empathy and sympathy. Empathy is understanding the feelings of someone, but not necessarily feeling the same way, whereas sympathy is understanding and sharing the same feelings. It's important to be empathetic towards your client. Not only does this help build rapport, but uh, it also allows your client to feel understood and listened to. Empathy is an important part of active listening, and this is a large part of effective legal interviewing and client counselling. Now we'll move on to social skills. Let's have a look at some of the social skills needed to be a good lawyer. Empathy, as we've already discussed, is one. Leadership, and just as important, followership the art of active listening, the ability to make people feel comfortable and to have enough conversation skills to build good rapport, the ability to build a relationship with your client to retain them, interpersonal skills, good communication. These social skills can change a lawyer from being a good paper lawyer to uh, a great lawyer capable of bringing in clients and potentially creating their own firm. Clients want to return to people who who make them feel good um, and word of mouth about great lawyers is important, especially in today's digital age. Now we'll move on to self-regulation. Self-regulation is the ability to remain calm under pressure or in high pressure or volatile situations. It means being in control of your emotions, but it doesn't mean having no emotions or showing zero emotions. When we self-regulate, we can adapt to our changing environment and situation while being in control of our emotions, and that's important. As a lawyer, we're often faced with clients who have big emotions themselves. We have changing situations, which can be quite frustrating, but we have to control ourselves. Uh, in a court situation, when faced with confronting evidence, we can't allow ourselves to be ruled by emotions, so self-regulation is really important. What do you think of my top three emotional intelligence skills out of the five, um, please email your ideas through to me on this address. I'd love to discuss them further with you. Thanks for listening to my top three key emotional intelligence skills.